All right, guys, I am now going to take you through on completing the 2D sketch of your fidget spinner. Now, you guys will be able to do different designs. You don't have to do the design that I'm about to do, and I'll kind of, you know, give you some ideas, but I don't really want to hold you back. I want you guys to be creative. I don't want to just give you ideas. Um, you know, I'll give you some parameters. I mean, we, we can only use... Um, this three-sided um, spinner just because of the weights, the hex nuts that I bought. I mean, we're only limited to use three each. Um, but beyond that, I mean, I'll, I'll share some different ideas with you. Um, but let's get started on the 2D sketch. Okay, so we're going to make it look like this eventually. But right now, I'm just going to get you started on the 2D sketch. So I'm just going to start a new design. Okay. And... I'll go to create sketch in a second, but one thing that I didn't mention to you, I think in the other videos was your orbiting and panning. Um, maybe I did mention it or not, but um, make sure that you're utilizing your mouse to do that more efficiently. And um, I'll show you how I'm going to be doing that once I get started on the spinner itself. Okay, so I'm going to be using my keyboard and my mouse to orbit and pan a lot more efficiently than constantly clicking down here in this toolbar. So let, let's start by creating a sketch, and um, before I do that, there are some critical dimensions here that we have to make note of. Um, you know, although you'll be able to des design your own spinner, um, some dimensions or some sizes have to be exact, um, and so I've outlined them on this drawing, which is posted in D2L, is that our bearing... Um, is a 22 millimeters uh, in, diam in diameter, in which case our hole here has to be this size that I've indicated right here. Okay, that has to be. Also, our hex nut is 21.75 millimeters across, point to point. So this also has to be the exact dimension that you see here. Okay, and lastly, we are gonna put, and we'll talk about this later, but we're going to put a radius on all these um, edges here where the hex nut's going to slide in. Just because the hex nut's not perfectly sharp in these areas, it's a little bit rounded. So we're going to put a little radius of one millimeter times six in all of these edges here. Okay. The other thing is our bearing. So this is the side view here. So our bearing is seven millimeters tall. So that means from where our housing is for our bearing, what the, the part that's going to be covering our bearing, that's got to be seven millimeters high. Our hex nuts are nine millimeters tall, so that means we have to make our housing nine millimeters tall. Okay, and lastly, because we don't want this to be too big, and I, I want us to be consistent with how large all of these are, especially when it comes to the 3D printing, um, the distance from the center of your bearing here to the center of a hex nut has to be 32 millimeters, no bigger than that. Um, that'll that allows for a pretty good size when it comes to your fidget spinner, like a you know your standard typical fidget spinner size. So it's going to be 32 from here to here, 32 from here to here, and 32 from there to there. Okay, so let's get started in drawing the 2D sketch. Um, I'm going to do these videos in different parts, so this one video will just be the sketch. Now, anytime you're drawing a sketch, you have to decide, you know, should you draw this sketch and extrude it, or should you draw maybe the top view and then extrude the top view? Um, you have to decide what your best plan of action is. I mean, it's fairly obvious for this one which one we need to do, um, but it's not always. Like when we did that bracket in the previous video, we actually drew the sketch of the side profile. Remember that L shape? Okay, we actually drew the side profile of that shape there. But for this one, because there's so many features on the top, um, we're going to start by drawing the top sketch. So we're going to draw this. Okay. And I always like to plan things out before I go in and start, start sketching here. But I'm going to start by doing a circle in the middle. Okay. At this diameter, 22.05 millimeters. And I'm going to do hex nuts here in these three spots. 32 millimeters away from the center. All right, so I'm just planning things out. All right, 
Then I'll grab an arc, the arc tool, and I will connect these corners here. So you're going to see there's not a lot of work to do. Okay, there really isn't. Um, and then, of course, there's these little offsets here of we're going to create the circle and create three millimeter offsets here and here. And that's just to give... This is to give some thickness to um, our housing of the hex nut and of the bearing. Okay, so this shouldn't take too long. We're going to create a sketch. <clears throat> and I'm going to start, I guess I can go to my bottom view there. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And I want to start, remember, by pressing a circle. I want to start with this middle circle here. So I'm going to press or type C, or I can go to create circle, okay? Um, but shortcut on your keyboard, just type C. All right, now it says that I needed to do it at, what was it again? 22.05 millimeters, okay? So before I click again, just type 22.05, press enter, and there it is, okay? Next part, I guess we can just do the offset of this circle. So remember in the image here, there's a thickness to the bearing housing here. So three millimeters away should be another circle. So Fusion 360 does this very easily. You just type O for offset, or you would go to um, your modify toolbar down here and click offset. But again, I like to use the keyboard shortcuts, especially once you get the hang of it goes really fast. So I type I type O on my keyboard, I click on the circle that I want to offset, and now it asks me how much do I want to offset. So three millimeters, press enter. Okay, so that's done. Next component of this is we have to figure out how we're going to draw these three hex nuts in these exact positions. I mean, because you've got to think it's it's a fidget spinner. It's got to be balanced when it's spinning. We can't be putting these in um, an unbalanced way. We have to put them in some sort of circular pattern that allows this spinner, when it's spinning, to be balanced. So that means they have to be equal angles all, all the way around. All three of these angles need to be equal. So let's figure out how we can do that. First, let's start by drawing one of uh, the hex nuts. Okay, so I am going to click on Create. And instead of circle or anything like that, you're going to click on polygon and go to inscribed polygon. Okay, inscribed polygon. Somewhere up here and maybe line it up with the center of the circle. Okay, so snap it to the center of the circle. Draw it anywhere up here. We'll dimension it after. Okay, now it's important that you do this. It's important that you... Um, Bring the point, see how like the point where my arrow is there is kind of off to the side. Bring it straight so it's lined up with your circle. Okay, now be careful here. Let's go to our drawing. It's 21.75 going across all the way point to point. But look in Fusion. It's not going point to point, is it? It's going center to point. So it's actually doing the radius of the circle. So you've got to be careful there. So you need to do 21.75 and then divide it by 2. Okay, divide it by 2. So that ends up being, I believe, 10.875. Okay, press enter. And there is your hex nut. All right, or your, your, your opening for your hex nut. And just to double check to make sure that that's 10.875, I'm just gonna double check um, something quick here. Just my, my drawing from earlier, yeah, it is 10.875. Okay, so we're good. So 10.875 there. Now, we're gonna offset this as well. Okay, so remember, if you go back to our drawing, there's a three millimeter offset of another hexagon going around, and that's just giving thickness to the housing for the hex nut. So we're gonna type, again, O on our keyboard, nice and quick, click on the shape, and type three. Okay, and there it is. Now what we need to do, 
um, is to mention how far we want this to be from our circle. We have not done that yet, right? Notice how it's blue right now. Um, we have not done what's called constraining this sketch, okay? So we need to dimension, so I type D on my keyboard, okay, D on my keyboard, click from the center here to the center here, drag out your mouse, and type 32, okay? So click, and then type 32, okay? Now we need to do um, a circular pattern in a way where this fidget spinner is going to be balanced. So we need to precisely put these hex nuts here and, and here in these spots. Okay. So to do that, let's go to create circular pattern. Okay. Now let's look, let's follow along what it says here. You know, I urge you to do this, you know, actually look at the menus and see what's highlighted, what you need to select and all that stuff. So it says first objects. Okay, so we need to select our objects. So I'm gonna select um, here, 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 here. All of these lines we need to select individually. Okay, select them all. And you can see I've selected 12 of them. Then once we've, we're happy with that, then we need to choose the center point in which we want to um, revolve this around. So click on select here. Okay, so you highlight this and click on the center of your bearing here where your bearing would go. Okay, and look at that automatically because I, I put three here. It, it by default puts three, by the way. I mean, if you put four, it would do four. Um, but we are only going to do three, okay? It by default does that, and so it it will create these hex nuts at equal angles around this circle, okay? So press OK, and it's that simple, guys. Um, we're basically almost done. Now this is where you guys will get creative at this point. This is where you guys will have some fun, but because you're going to create your own designs, but. I'm going to just create a very simple design of using my arc tool to connect these. Um, you guys can do several different things that we'll discuss in class, but uh, I'll just show you how to do just the arc tool. So you're going to go to create arc and we will do a three point arc. Okay. And let's look at our drawing here. So see how I'm connecting this bottom point with this first point that I see there. So let's go from here, click on your second point, and then you can play around with the radius, okay? So let's say right there. Now I haven't dimensioned that yet, I wanna make them all consistent. So I'm gonna create an arc here as well. Okay, so I click twice now to finish this off. I click a third time wherever I want this to be. Let's say there. And I do one more from here to here. Like that. Okay, so that's the three point arc. All right, now I did not dimension these. I doubt these, these arcs are all the same size. They might they might be close, but they, I doubt they're the same size. So hit your um, D button on your keyboard for dimension and click on the arc. And let me see something here. What did I do it uh, in our last drawing? I believe I did it to 32. Yeah, I did a 32 millimeter um, radius here, which actually turned out, when I printed it, it turned out great. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to click on the arc. Oh, hit D on your keyboard. Click on the arc. And do it at 32. So I drew it pretty close to 32. And do the same thing for this arc. Again, pretty close to 32, just not exact.
Okay, and the last one. Give it some time if it loads. Remember this is all cloud-based, so it will not be as fast as, you know, software that's not cloud-based at times, um, especially if you have a weak internet connection. 